music is a very, very big part of any video game. You know, no one plays a game with the sound turned off. We spend so much time on music because we know it's absolutely critical to the success and, and the enjoyment of any, of any game. Joe did the trailer for the last Medal of Honor game. This time around, we're doing a few different things. One of the things I'm personally excited about is I'm, I'm getting the chance to score a couple levels in the game. Our fans might be excited to hear some new stuff that is um, it's, um, exclusive to this game. I remember going to um, Medal of Honor headquarter, headquarters and seeing, you know, all the seeing these guys that are back there, you know, developing all of these um, levels and characters and all of this stuff. And when we walked into the conference room to sit down and talk about our participation in the game, there's like, I would, I would I assume are real live weapons like <laughs> all across the wall. That I don't know. I don't know if they're real or not, but they sure as sure as hell look real. With Castle of Glass, um, you know, they came in. Uh, very early, uh, we sat down, I, I pitched them the, the storyline for the game, they looked at the game and came back with this incredible song that, that speaks to that community and that warrior spirit. You know, there's a, there's a bit of an anticipation and, and excitement when, 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 that, when it all comes about and when we first heard the song we were absolutely blown away. Uh, many of us were very affected by it and just the tones and the themes and the types of messages that are coming across in the song are the exact same messages that we're um, portraying in the game. It really means everything to us. It means everything to the warfighters we're working with. You know, a lot of them are, are, are very, very big fans of, of Lincoln Park. And I've been told on many occasions that after last year's game, uh, that, that the song The Catalyst became uh, almost an anthem for them and they carried it with them overseas. And, you know, before going on operations, they would listen to it and get their, their mind right. And, and, uh, and it just, it, like I said, it's, 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 it's been a great, great experience. certain points we get a chance to play with fans um, and it's always a little bit in intimidating because anyone who's coming in, into that setting usually has quite a uh, certain number of hours put in the game and then not to speak for Mike but I'm the guy who's trying not to run around pointing his gun at the air you know <laughs> in the air grenading himself the whole time <laughs> but we and invariably though that's kind of what ends up happening with us we just get destroyed by some 15 or 20 year old yeah, we'll guy be, who just kills it. We'll be out on the on the road this summer uh, with Incubus here in the states, and uh, whenever we're on tour, that's usually a time when I feel like we we play games a little more often. So, um, hopefully, they set up those if we have to play any fans. Hopefully, they set those up towards the end of that Honda Civic tour, so we can just we can actually get some practice in before we play anybody. 